Hello, this is Nikki Horn, and with us now is Jodie from Rock Goddess. Welcome. Hello. Now, you've been in Rock Goddess, or you've been in bands anyway, since you were 13. That's right. Um, what band were you, were you first in when you were 13? Rock Goddess. That, that was, was it. when it was formed, yeah, because uh, my father is our manager as well. Mm. See, the drummer's my sister. Mm. So, and he's always been in the business, and he's done everything agency, management been in bands from when he was like 15 mm. himself so uh, it was something uh, he wanted his kids to do as well so he gave you a lot of encouragement did he when oh, you were 13 support everything yeah what about the rest of the family though I mean when you announced the rest of the family you know I'm gonna be in a rock and roll band I mean did they go but I think you should learn to be a secretary my dear or something no like well the manager was my father and he formed the band and my mum was well into it yeah. and my sister's a drummer and that is the family. <laughs> so what kind of uh, encouragement did they give you in those early days? Because obviously it, it takes a fair amount of money to, to get going and all that kind of stuff. Well, we always taught to take it seriously, you know, mm. rather than a hobby and this, this will be a profession. Mm. And uh, so that's the way, it was always a professional thing. Did you, did you pay your dues to a certain ex extent and sort of go around to all the, you know, the smaller clubs and, and build up a following locally? Did you do all that kind yes, of stuff? Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah. What was it like then? I mean, for a young girl on the road, you oh, know, playing rock and roll in, in small clubs. Great. I mean, we always, always have had, and always hopefully will, had a great reception. Mm. Every new territory has always been brilliant. But in those early days, though, what was it like? I mean, did it, was it natural for you to do all that? Very natural, because I was born into the business anyway. I was used to a kind of that atmosphere, because mm. my dad was like in bands when mm. I was a small kid mm. and stuff, so it was, felt very natural. It wasn't alien at all. Now, talking about Rock Goddess's fans now, mm. you have, I think, one of the most loyal tribes of fans that, that I've ever known. I mean, people do follow you, I know, from gig to gig. And they're, they're very loyal. Very loyal. What is it about the band that makes those fans so loyal? I think a lot of it is uh, after gigs, we talk to them and there's no superstar stuff, you know, we don't... When we're on stage, you know, we talk to them as friends, rather, and we try and take away that gap and make it all mm. like, let's have a party, yeah. instead of, hey, look at me, I'm the rock star, you know? And I think that counts for a lot because a lot of fans have been really hurt by their idols when they've met them afterwards and they've been a bit offish with and put the sunglasses on and, all right, that's it. You know, we'll talk to them and we'll talk about bands with them and just be on, you know, just ordinary people. Who are your favourite bands and your influences? Um, well, I'm a bit, bit of a heavy metal snob. I mean, I, most of the stuff I like is, is heavy stuff. Right, and I can never think of it when people are. <laughs> Kiss was always my uh, main thing since I was a kid, mm. and I used to like Led Zeppelin and things like that. Now I like I like Wasp and Bon Jovi. I, I just like a whole range of things and old rock and roll. Now the thing about the, the kind of music that you play, which is I suppose sort of hard rock, is the best way of describing it, is that it's sort of always been fashionable, hasn't it? I mean, whereas other fashions have come and gone. It's always been there. It's always yeah, been there. That's right. What, what is it about the music? Is it just because it is honest? It's, it seems to be more honest? It's honest, it's exciting. It's very exciting. Mm. Gigs are an event, 